Hi, I'm Tony Falca from Torch, and today I'm going to show you how to take control of your animations in AR using the playable media controls that are new to Torch 4.0. It's super easy to add controls. All you need to do is bring in an animated model, place it where you want to start, and you want to go to the object properties. And I'm going to set the resting state or the pause state there at the uh, non-deployed legs. And uh, next I'm going to set up the interactions that will actually trigger the animation and cause the, uh, the droid bot to move. So I'm going to go into object interactions. I'm going to select the object I want to animate. And under the playable media controls, I'm going to set the loop to one, which means that it will repeat one time when it uh, receives the trigger. And I'm going to make the trigger response uh, to play the animations. Uh, now we're all set. That means when you tap the, when the user taps the model, it will uh, begin the animation loop. Next, I'm going to change the position of the model, and uh, you can either input the uh, X and Z coordinates uh, where you want it to walk, or in my case, I'm just going to use a, a simple drag motion uh, to put it in its uh, final location. And then next, I want to edit the curves, and the curves are going to be uh, the controls that say how fast it moves and when it starts moving, and uh, for how long it moves. So in this case, uh, uh, I chose initially a 1.5 second delay, which is the right amount of time for the legs to deploy, and a 3 second um, time of movement. Uh, and as you'll see, the animation lasts longer than the 3 seconds. But it's super easy to just go back and edit this. That's what makes the playable media control so powerful. So I'm just going to exit play mode. Go back in, and after a little bit of trial and error, I found out that six seconds is the right amount of duration for the uh, leg motion uh, animation. So I'm going to go in and set that to six. Uh, save those, uh, those uh, curves. And I'm gonna go into play mode again and review my work. And so I just jump back into play mode, tap the model. Off it goes across the floor. It reaches the end of the animation loop and we're done and that's it that's how easy it is to set up animations and playable media controls with torch with uh, the new feature in 4.0 so give it a shot yourself thank you